guys, welcome back. Today we are working on another problem where we are simplifying fractions. So thanks again to Thomas for sending me these questions. I appreciate it. And as a note to everyone else, always feel free to email me with a few questions or if you have a bunch of questions or want me to prepare a full on Skype tutoring session for you, I can do that as well. Uh, just send me a note with what questions you want me to cover in it and we can go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so the first thing that I would do in this case is I would want to factor the numerator um, because you do have some common terms here. So the first thing I would do is I would pull out the greatest common factor of eight and 24, which is eight itself. Then I would pull out the greatest common factor for my x terms. So that's just gonna be x. Next, I will pull out my greatest common factor of my y terms, which is gonna be y squared. So I know I did that kind of quickly, but basically, since these two terms have things in common, you wanna pull out the biggest amount that's in common to the both of them that you can. So I could have pulled out a two, for example, for the eight and the 24, but I had something bigger. I also could have put, pulled out a four, but I had something bigger. So you want to try to go as big as you can and pull that out. So that's why I chose an eight. Similarly with the X's, I have one X here and I have three X's here. So actually I can break this down even a little bit further. So this here is equal to eight times X times X times X times Y times Y times Y times Y minus 24 X Y Y. So now, and I could have broken these numbers down into their factors, but that would have taken a little bit longer. So we'll just assume that you got where the eight came from. So now since there's only one X here, I can only take one X from here. So those ones are in common. Similarly, we have two Y's that are in common. So now I can write it here. And this is actually a good method because now you can see what's left. So you can see what's, I guess, factored out. So I took this eight away two, and um, this would be a three. So now all I really have to do is look at, I have two X's left, so that's an X squared. And then I have these two Y's left, so that's a Y squared. Now I'm gonna subtract what's left here. So I'm gonna subtract three, and then that's it, because this, these X's and Y's have already been used. And all of this is going to be over 4x squared y. So now I can go ahead and cancel between this 8x squared, sorry, 8xy squared term and this term here. So the 4 is going to be able to reduce with the 8, and I'm going to be left with a 2 in the top. One of the x's is going to cancel out, and then this y is going to cancel with one of these y's. So in the top, I now have 2y times x squared y squared minus 3, and this is going to be over x. And that's really all I can do now. I can't do anything with these x's because they're not being multiplied. I can only reduce with things with terms that are being multiplied. So this here is going to be our final answer. I think I'm going to go ahead and give you guys one more um, easier problem just quickly just to kind of reiterate what I was saying. So let's say you have something like, let's just say you have 4x squared um, y minus um, 6x to the fourth y to the third all over 2xy. So if you were asked to simplify this, again, the first thing you would do is factor the numerator. So the greatest common factor of four and six is two. So I would pull a two out. Now my biggest X factor would be X squared. So I would pull that out. And my biggest Y would be this Y here. So I'd pull one Y out. Now I have to multiply by what's left. So since I took a two away from this four, um, I'm gonna be left with a two. I'm essentially just dividing by the way. I took an x squared from the x squared, so there's nothing there, and I took a y from the y, so there's nothing there either. So now I'm gonna subtract, and I'm gonna do the same thing, so I'm gonna be dividing here. So six divided by two is three, x to the fourth divided by x squared is just x squared, and y cubed divided by y is y. And then this is gonna be all over two x, y. So now I can go ahead and simplify 
this way. So the twos are gonna cancel out, the X is gonna cancel with one of these X's, and the Y's are gonna cancel. So now I, got, I canceled everything in the denominator. I have this one X here, and then I have this two minus three X squared Y, and this here would be our final answer. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you do still have a question, leave me in the comment box below and I will get to it. Or if you even want me to make another video going over a few of these problems, I can do that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And I would also, I also want to invite you guys all to join our Facebook group that I just created. It's going to be a really awesome place for you guys to help each other out. And I will be there to help you guys as well. So I really look forward to seeing you guys over there and I will see you next time.